Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as the Collector 75 and welcome back to part 3 of my Transformers uh, Fans Project Explorer O2A and O2B um, kit. Now then, this of course is part 3 and now we're going to be combining them all into Bruticus. Um, right, we're going to start here with, uh, you know, we're going to start with the limbs I think, because I think that would be a lot easier. Uh, right, easy. First of all, take one of the little feet. We're going to take Swindle here, of course now and then he is just basically in his little car mode. And now then I believe that um, he can only fit in this foot which should be his right foot. Um, I think the holes are a little bit different for Brawl to fit into but it doesn't make much difference, it doesn't really matter. Anyway we use the little pegs at the front, just like on the normal Bruticus Maximus and they just fit straight in the little holes just in there. So they go in there just like that. So um, I'm not going to push these in too far because it's a bit of annoying to get out actually. It's because it's on this rotational sort of joint here, as we can see. Here it's clicking away, which is pretty good. And it allows for him to stand at um, his leg at an angle like that. Um, or any other angle really. It's quite good actually, I like it. Anyway, that's Swindle done. And now we're going to move on to Brawl. Um, just as easy. <laughs> Trust me, it's not the easy bits. Right then, here we go. So we've got the other foot here. And now then, of course, he just fits on. As you can see, the holes are slightly different. These are slightly raised. I don't know if we're going to be able to see them. So that just goes in there like that. And push him in. Like that. And it should sort of like just connect into place. He comes out a tiny bit easier than Swindle does. And again, it's on the same ratchet little swivel joint there. It doesn't move at the foot like left or right or nothing like that. It's fairly fixed, but it doesn't matter because we've got a lot of movement at the knee joint, of course. Uh, right, that's the feet done. I'm going to move on to the hands now, oh, the arms, sorry, rather. Uh, the arms um, require a little bit more of a transformation. Oh, pardon me. This is, of course, Vortex. Oh, I've left those closed. Right, so this is him in his helicopter mode, of course. Now then, to transform this guy, um, we transform differently than he would have been for his normal Bruticus Maximus. We have to transform this guy very differently, in fact. First of all, we open up these little parts just under here, like so. Once they're fully open, then we get the arms from under here, just disconnect them from their little tabbed joints. Uh, we rotate them, like 180, and then swivel the, uh, the elbow until we're in that position. So we do the same on this side, rotate it, and then swivel him at the elbow joint, and just make sure they're sort of like roughly in nice sort of sync just there. Right, once we've done that, we come back around here, we disconnect the legs, Fold them out straight like that. Actually, no, I think it's going to go that way. Yeah, that's it. Like so. Fold them out down straight. Uh, get the little oh, get, get the little tail section here and just rotate it back. And then what I do next is I just move them out to this sort of position, like so. Actually, uh, no, sorry. What you've got to do then, of course, is rotate it about 90 degrees like that and put it at this angle like that. Then what we're going to do next is we take these two sort of like get that were sort of like guns, missile launchers, and each one of these is hidden in one of their hands, which is pretty cool. I like how they manage to hide them. Uh, they're just sort of like slotted in, so you've just got to pull them out basically. That's it. You pull them down and then pull them out like that. Because I don't know if you're going to see it. There's two just little ridge joints. Let me move that back slightly so it'll focus. Yeah, there's two little ridge joints just on the top of the hand, just there. Yeah. Anyway, so that's how they're held in, right? So we take one out, and then on the same on this one, just pull it down slightly. Yeah, so that, it's a bit tough because the way you just have to, because it's held in by the fingers as well. And then we pull it out. All right, so then we separate the hands. Then these two bits, let me do it around this way so you can see. And then let's have a look. He's got a tab here, and a little hole there, and on the other side he's got another tab and a little hole. And then these basically just fit together like so. Put them together. These are very tight for some reason. Mine don't seem to go together that well, but then they also form um, a, an extra little tab here or a post. And of course, now they make sure I get the right bloody hand. And then, of course, he's got a little hole on this wrist. And then we push this on like so. Now, help keep these two parts together like that. And then I do like these hands because these hands are fully, fully articulated. We've got a thumb on a ball joint that just moves out the ball joint, unfortunately. Um, and all these fingers can swivel, turn, 
um, and he's got knuckle joints. Unfortunately, the only thing he's missing is just finger joints, which is a bit annoying. Well, not really annoying because hardly any Transformers come with this sort of much articulation. So it's great. So you can put him in all manner of poses. You can do him doing all manner of little things like that, which is you know what some people like to do. Um, it's actually fantastic, and you can hold an, a multitude of different guns and everything. Um, I think I've got a picture of him holding my world's smallest shockwave, which is pretty damn good. Anyway, let's move on. So we've got Vortex into this position. Now then he's got the two little tabs just on his legs, and we can see him just here and just here. And he has two slots there and one on the other side. And these are basically just going to fit over the slots. Like so, and you just push them on like that and push them all the way until it sort of like holds basically. There we go. And then this won't come off. It's on there pretty good. And then that gives him elbow joint, it gives him, you can do all manner of different sort of like pose of this guy. You can rotate this hand at the wrist to do anything. Absolutely brilliant. Whoop, there we go. Right, and so that's Vortex. Oh no, no, I've almost forgotten one bit. Then we add the, the connector so you can connect to Onslaught. And um, what we do is we open out these both these tabs on this, like that. The first one just goes on this little post just there, much like it was when we were fitting them on just to be as little rocket launches. And now then we just basically close this all the way around, come around here, and then we put the other one on that hole like that, and it fits on there very, very tightly, so it's not coming off. And I think I've just put that around the wrong way. No, no, that's the right way. There we go, and then we just move the connector down to that position. And now that is Vortex ready. So we're going to put him down there. Now we come on to Blast Off. Um, of course, this is him in his space shot mode. We don't have to do too much to him. What we're going to do, though, is just split him. I can't seem to get these out, otherwise I'm bloody useless at doing this. Right, so we're going to move these two little bits around here. Like we do for his normal transformation. Like so. And then we just need to move these little bits up. Yeah, see, I can't do it without bloody move, splitting them at the legs there. Right, so let's take that out because we don't need that. And then we're just going to get these two little grey bits out. Like so. That's it, we move these up. And they go into position up here, like they do for robot mode. There we go, they just click into position now. Then we've got to reattach, actually, now we've got to fold out the feet. These ball joints are a bit annoying and the joints are very, very tight as you can hear them clicking into place like that. Now then we've got to make sure this tab now is poking outwards and then we reattach the legs like that. But also as you can see there's a little metal joint in there, we've got to get that into the hole on the other foot. Otherwise it won't go back together just right. There you go, so if we've got it right we can close up the legs. No, so it's not just gone right, it's a bit of a pain. But it's not that hard to do, there we go, I've done it. And then we close up the wings like that. Now then that's him there, and then we turn him to this position, I believe. We rotate him 180 at the waist, like that, and that will allow, sort of, is it that way or is it another way? I think it's the other way, actually. Ah, yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, we rotate him that way, so he's got the wings pointed up. There you go, see. It's amazing, we've only actually transformed this guy into Bruticus the once, actually. There we go, just make sure they're all tabbed in. Then we get the other hand. And now then, if you're going to put the gun in his hand, it's better off putting the gun in before um, you put it on this wrist, actually, because this wrist is, can be annoying and it just falls off. And also, this joint is very, very loose. So when I put the hand in, the hand will just flop straight down, which can be a bit annoying. So if you want the gun in that position, especially the big one, it will, you've got no chance. Not on, well on my version, anyway, because it's very loose. But it doesn't matter. Again, the hand is super poseable and it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. And then all we do next is we take the other sort of like missile launcher. As you can see, it's got two large tabs. These fit into two holes that are just on Blastoff's chest just there. Uh, make sure the rocket launchers are pointing downwards and they just fit in. Right, so there can be a bit of a pain just to get in because you've got, oh, I hate these sort of joints. There we go, got them in. Right, so then they're all in, and then that is blast off, ready to be attached. Pretty good. Right then, so the next figure, of course, is um, Onslaught. 
Right, I've already um, attached the headpiece, as you can see. Remember I said in my last review that I attached it, but unfortunately um, I couldn't get the bastard off. Um, it's because basically you've got to clip it onto this bit here and push it right on. Um, and then it fits so tight, actually. It's a really good fit, but I can't get it off. Um, I'm sure there's a way. But anyway, right, so we've attached the head, and it's pretty good. Um, what I normally do um, is take the head off, and when you want to store it, I just pop the head in the little compartment there and close that up because it fits quite well um, yeah so that's that right so anyway he's got the, basically the same transformation as before when we want to combine him into Brutus Brutus, no, I can't remember words mixed up there Brutus Maximus uh, so we've got him in that position and then we just close this all up and he's got the two little um, tabs there and we put those onto the two little holes if I can get them on there there we go and it fits on nice and easy make sure the chest cavity is all folded away as it should be and it fits a hell of a lot better um, right the next thing we've got to do is make sure the waist now we see the waist here and it's got the screw holes at the top there this of course it would be the wrong way around if we was doing Bruticus Maximus um, because this is the front just here but we need the reverse side so we've got to turn the legs around like I've already done and then what we do is we put this little waist piece cod piece bit and we've got the two little tabs just on the end there and we fit these right into the little screw holes now then these little bits here let me put them down for a second are just on little ball joints so we can push them out and it allows them to move when you want to move the legs and that just fits into the little screw holes and it holds nice and easy just like that and so it gives them a nice new waist um, right if that stays on it'll be a miracle because usually it falls off anyway so we're going to leave it on for now the only other bit you've got to do is with these doors at the front here. You've just got to make sure they're sort of like folded away into that position. Don't know if it's going to show too well. Basically, all it is is just fold them back as far as they'll go into that position. And that is onslaught. I'm going to attach the guns that go on his back last because they don't stay on too well on my version. I'm not quite sure if it's mine or what. It's because the angle, the, the arms seem to be at an angle, and um, I can't seem to find a way to fix it really. No, because you try and push them back, it's because they're not dead, sort of like straight, parallel, whatever you want to call it, and they're sort of like bending up a little bit. And so that throws the little tab and the hole out of position. Anyway, all right, so that's enough of that. I'm going on a bit. We're just going to attach all the limbs to now. It's quite easy. We'll do the legs first because they're the easiest. We just put brawl on this leg, and he goes in nice and easy, just like he normally does. And then we put swindle on, and he just fits in there nice and easy too. And it's a great fit. And it won't fall out on nothing. And you can just angle his legs forward a little bit, just gives him a little bit more posability. And that waist piece is just itching to fall off. Um, right, now then we're going to fit an arm. We are going to go for Vortex. Actually, just before I do Vortex, this is the little tail, that, or the little sword axe that comes with Blast Off. And what we do with this, it does become a sword. Well, it's called a sword, but the size of this guy it looks more like a Bowie knife. Um, so that's what I like to call it. Shouldn't think of it little ridges or something like that. Because a sword, it looks more like a sword if um, Blast Off was holding it, but if Brutus is holding it, it just looks a bit small. I'll, I'll give you an effect. I'm not going to put this in hand, but I've taken some pictures. Um, imagine that's in his hand, you see. That doesn't look too much more like a sword. It just doesn't look big enough. It looks like a big bowie knife. Anyway, but you can attach this just to the side of Brutus's arm. Right, so he's got his little tab just there. I don't know if he's going to pick it out too well, so put it there. And it just fits onto the little holder, just like that, and so it just stays there. Um, I would have preferred it actually if they'd have done it on Swindle's arm, so it looked like proper like a boot knife or something. That would have been damn cool. Anyway, right, so I'm just going to angle this little bit out a little bit, and then he fits on as normal, straight on there. As you can see, this is really taking shape now, and this looks hell of a lot better than the um, ordinary Brutus Maximus. Now that we're going to put Blast Off on, he fits in here as normal. And look at that, he fits another great fit. Um, these arms are tight, so you can put them in any position you want. You might just want, if you can angle the doors out a little bit more to give them a little bit more movement, it doesn't really matter. Actually, let me find to get this all in shot here. It looks absolutely fucking brilliant. Look at the face sculpt on that, that is absolutely fantastic. I love the Energon version because this one has the Decepticons on it, albeit upside down. But here he is. Right, let's just finish him off. Right, the first thing we've got to do is these two guns. Um, we have to combine them to form his shotguns. Let me just move Brutus out of the way there for a second. It's quite easy, really. You just fold out the little tab like that, put it straight. 
and get this gun. And as you can see, these two little prong things. That's just going to fit into these two little sliders just in there, like that. And then the little bit there fits onto that connector. And it forms one of his shotguns. Pretty good. I really do like, oh, sorry, we've got them flip down the little handle. Damn good. And you will hold both of these brilliantly. I do love it. And then, like I say, it comes with two, so you do it on these other two as well. Like that. And like that. Flip back down, and that becomes another of his shotguns. And he has two of these. So you can hold both of them like that, or you're supposed to store them on the back, but it looks a bit crap, to be honest. Um, you know, with this big gun, we just, like I say, open it out. Oh, pardon me, and then flip down this little bit. Like that. That forms the big handle. And that will easily fit in one of his hands. It's a little bit fiddly to get it in there, but the instructions show you how to do it. I've t I'm not going to do it just for this, but it, it, is a, it just can be a bit of a pain, and I don't want to fumble about with it on bloody YouTube. It makes me look like an idiot. And I look like I've been up one of those sometimes myself doing these. Um, right, so then, what we need to do next is open up these two little big guns, like that. There we go, if you can get them apart, because they're very tight. There we go. Open up those, and now then we have um, a connector piece there, a little hole, and then a tab piece there. That is going to fit into the two, one hole there, and a little connector there. So that just goes in there. Um, now then, I can only get one of these to fit on it. It's the one with a peg on Bruticus. It does sort of go on this other one, but because they're at an angle, it just pops straight off. And yeah, see what I mean? Look, it just wants to pop off. So I just usually push it on the one. It's a little bit of an angle, but you wouldn't notice it. Anyway, before I do that, you're supposed to put these bloody shotguns um, into these little tabs just here. They basically, because it has a hole there, and then you just put it on here, like so. Which one is it? Hey, there we go. Falls down. Can't remember exactly which way this is supposed to go around. I think it's this way. But it doesn't matter. They, they go on. No problem. The holes are actually very tight. It'll go on anyway. Like I said, I've taken a pit. Oh, there you go. But you get the gist. It goes on the back there. But it, look, it just looks a bit rubbish. But this is an absolutely amazing figure. Um, definitely worth the money. The head is so poseable. You can angle him up, down. Brilliant. These arms have all manner of poseability. You can do um, elbow joint, wrist action, fingers. You can put them in all manner of different poses. Um, unfortunately, this hand is just a little bit loose, so you put this giant bloody gun in his hand. Let me try it. Probably won't work. Uh, yeah, because you've got to angle one of the fingers just onto the trigger as we do it. There we go. Can I do it? Nah, it's been a pain in the fucking ass. And then we just keep the rest of the fingers over. There we go. Right, so that's in there. There we go. And then you just got to get this onto the little tab, which is just there. Go on. There we go, so it's on now. And then you can just angle the fingers all around the handle, like so. And then that gives him his, I don't know what you want to call that, is it? Is it supposed to be a sonic, uh, sonic stun? Ah, there you go. So unless you get the fingers just right when you're putting this on it, it just wants to pop off as soon as you move the fingers into position. Can I get it again? No. Anyway, you get the gist. He does hold it just like that, and it looks absolutely amazing. It's better in this hand, though. But he will easily hold his shotguns. It's probably easy to do with shotguns, actually. Let me try and put one of these in his hands. There we go, if I can get it in there. There we go. But like I say, you can see his little wrist. There we go, see? It's a bit heavy for that joint. But you can hold it like that. Pretty damn bloody good. I do like it. Um, yeah, pretty good. Like I said, it's probably just my version. There probably is a way of stiffening up that joint, but I'm not that bothered about it, really. It's pretty cool, though. It stands absolutely brilliantly. You can any manner of poses. You can even angle these guns down past his head just to give him that. sort of like If he needs any extra firepower, he's got these two giant guns on his shoulder. Absolutely amazing figure. Well worth the money and definitely well worth picking up, especially if you've got the Energon Bruticus or the Universe Bruticus Maximus, whatever it is. Definitely, definitely worth getting. Right, there we go. Um, this has been Graham, the Collector 75, and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.